Hello everybody, it's Friday again and time to take a simple phrase and turn it into a three minute piece of music in just about uh, an hour. And as ever, I'm going to do this for however long it takes, 60, 70 minutes probably to write a piece of music. Uh, this video on YouTube, so we don't lose people's interest, is a little bit shorter than that, but <laughs> like me when this chair collapses. Um, but. Um, you can download the full length thing and the thing and everything uh, and the Cubase file and the stems and all that kind of thing uh, by clicking the link underneath this video. But let's get stuck in. Today, I'm going to do something slightly, a little bit different. I'm, I'm going to start with a marimba. We're going to go for marimba and vibes. Um, this is from um, Sonic Couture, who are, they're nice, they're nice people. They're a small developer. Well, I say small, I mean, they produce lots of really good stuff. Um, this is the uh, marimba, and I'm also going to be using their vibes, and I'm going to be using Celesta, and there's a bit of a choir going on there as well. So I'm, I'm going to start with a kind of riff, um, a little motif. So there's going to be a slightly minimalist vibe to what's going to go on today. Um, and I thought, ah, marimba and vibes, you know, if, if, if my name was Steve Reich, I would, you know, but it isn't and um, I don't have his talent, insight, or originality, but I make do. Okay, so what we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna put on my, the famous Princess Leia headphones. <sighs> right. Uh, let's start with the, let's start with the marimba. So what am I gonna do? I'm, I'm gonna do a bit of rhythmic displacement. So am I gonna have a, I want a pattern which lasts, uh, Rhythmic displacement is where you, you, you have different uh, phrases lasting different lengths which interleave so then they kind of build into this sort of texture. So I'll show you what I mean. So if we start, it's a very easy thing to do and then we're going to build everything around it. Um, so let's start uh, bar one. It's always the best place to start. Uh, go on, be original guy, start on bar two. <laughs> If that's the limit of your originality guy, you have a problem. Okay. There you go. There's a five note phrase. Uh, well, it's not five notes, but it's more than five notes, but it's a five beat phrase. So what we're going to do, uh, that was a bit sort of cavalier, wasn't it? It might be absolute rubbish. You haven't even heard it yet. Okay, then, <laughs> am I really going to live with that? Is this the day I crash and burn? Answers on a postcard. Okay. I have no idea what's going on here. That's nice. It's also five beats though. So that, there's no displacement going on right now. Oh, don't get so hung up on your displacement. It sounds nice. And let's start it, uh, start it there. No, start it later. That also is going to sound like a little packet of dog flavoured peanuts, unless I can get in there and put that sustain pedal back in. Now it's going to sound like peaches and cream. What did I tell you? Okay, I'm liking this. I'm so often starting with a viola. Uh, it's a little bit assertive today, aren't you, Mr. Viola? No, I'm not assertive. I'm just confident. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Now, do I want this um, spiccato -y sound? Uh, I'd love to know who, who these play. Well, I mean, there's people out there, possibly watching this very video, who... P do you play viola with the BBC Symphony Orchestra? Marion, it's you. Okay, well, this is you playing. There you go. Somewhere out there, there must be people from the BBC, isn't it? For sort of that, this presumes that they have enough time to watch YouTube and that they're 
uh, silly enough to come and hang out on this channel. If this is your first time, however, do feel free to subscribe. That's a bit of a YouTube-y thing to say, I'm sorry. Okay, let's, let's get into this with some viola pits. No, 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 no. Stop. just can't think what it is. I'm sure you're going to let me know in the comments. But, um... That does work, though, rhythmic displacement-wise, because it's a sort of three-beat little cycle, isn't it? But it comes in too soon. Bring in your ideas one by one. Okay. <clears throat> How are you feeling about this piece so far? Confident? I'm not. A brief round of applause for um, Trolls' uh, 1928 uh, uh, piano, which I believe is free when you download the Soundpaint thing. I'm a Soundpaint fan, as you know. Okay, let me let me play that again, as seen from the top. Take it from. So it's slightly jazzy. <laughs> Is this a good thing? Okay, if there's something missing. Talent, ah, I knew that was what it was. How long can you get away with it going? No, come on. Thank you. Paul and Christian, thank you. Your chamber strings have just come to the rescue. The big guns. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for. Wah! That was a bit on. Not that big guy, come on. Take a deep breath, take a deep breath. Have another think. Do you really want this? Yeah, I do really want this. This is where um, I compress the whole thing together, I spread it out, because in a weird way, uh, if you do this, you can use it like a piece of sheet music. It doesn't tell you the pitches, but it does tell you when things are happening. And so... And now... Um, 
This is a good sign. I'm not, I'm not bored with this yet. And, oh, you are. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, hang around a bit longer. Go on. Somebody in the comments the other day said, uh, it was really good. Rhythm was all over the shop. You're so true, so right. Absolutely. But um, can't be helped, just the way it goes. I could spend some time sorting that out, but I'm not going to. When you're trying to take a simple idea and expand it into a three minute piece of music. Um, a lot of people introduce all their ideas at once and wonder why it runs out of steam. But this time we're kind of, there's our main idea, this little marimba, but it's, then it's got some sort of harmonic stuff going on around it. Then in comes the viola, idea number two. And the, and the vibes going on, doing their thing. A bit more vibe. Now, bar 12, we've now established our idea. It ain't necessarily so. I kind of like this vibe, I have to say. I'm uh, something rhythmically wrong. It's a half tune, and sometimes a half tune's what you want. You don't always want, always look on the bright side of life, copyright strike, um, because, you know, sometimes, some tunes are sort of a bit too primary colours, and actually what you want is something which is sort of, you can play with, it's got a motif in it, and you can start, mm, but actually, to be absolutely honest, um, yeah, okay, I'm just checking the time. In real time, I've been going 19 minutes. I don't know how what that... So I've, I'm still the right side of the line here. Um, so how am I going to... Okay, what else have I got to do to this to make this work? Make more... We need something else which is going at double that speed. Din, 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 din. Oh, I had a thought. I can't like the sound of damped harp. going to take that whole idea and stick <laughs> you can't just do this guy yes you can maybe it's going to work <laughs> instant <laughs> This is what's called car crash counterpoint. <laughs> I've just invented something. It's called car crash counterpoint. Uh, actually, in all seriousness. What? Guy, don't say in all seriousness. This is not... Be worse. 
now it needs to check. Look, I'll tell you what's really k kicking in here is um, harmonic monotony. Yep, you can't. I, and we hear this is. I could easily just keep going to the end on this one note, uh, a bit like Bolero or whatever. But what does Bolero do towards the end? It suddenly modulates, it goes bang, and everybody goes, woo, what just happened? Okay, uh, minute in. I'm going to have to come up with a better idea than this. Or we'll never, uh, it'll just do what so many tunes do, peter out. Boom. But this one's not going to peter out. It's now got a transition. So I'm now going to, this is where, it's, this is the hard line. Okay, now let's see if I can use that top note of the piano as a pivot note. So it goes up to a C. Okay. Okay, so now on that C, wham, we're going to a different chord. We're going to go to a different harmonic world. And all that funky little stuff will bite the dust. So now, be ruthless. Kill your babies. They're gone. So, what okay watch me from the top now so it's a C blue scale so it's got to be a note which has got it's called which has got C in it Quite like an A flat. Don't like an F minor. Uh, D minor seven. No, it sounds too much like a high pedal. I'm. I'm in several minds, and as my dad would say, I don't know which of them to make up. Um, the only way I'm going to find out is to duplicate that instrument, which I did uh, while you weren't looking because I had the camera on the wrong one, and then work out how we're going to deal with this. So, so. Yeah, that fulfills my every wish that nice big warm A flat takes us, it's a bit lounge lizardy. Um, it needs some. It didn't, it's a shame, I quite like that, but I didn't have the click on, so it was all over the shop. One, two, three, four. I like that one. Why didn't you like the others? I don't know. I think actually, in this case, simpler is better. To be honest, that little tiny touch of cello uh, has given me a little bit of renewed faith that I'm not 
going to crash and burn as much as I thought I was going to a little while ago. Um, I need a gliss. Um, so I'm going to duplicate it, get rid of the rest and go on to uh, gliss mode. Come on gliss mode! Oh, blah, 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 bang. There we go. A little bit bright and breezy. Ah, oh, now hang on, there's normally a... Whoa, here we go. What's this? There we go. Often in BBC Symphony or stuff, if you look, click on this thing in the middle, you get, oh, these are all the things I can control, really. So it can go up or down. So it's now going up in a major key. So I'm just going to play it in A flat, and that's going to be great. Ready? We now go back into some form of... What do you think? I've been neglecting the choir all the time and actually it's going to be a really good thing to have in here. So this is similar to the first bit but different. Oh, that's why. You silly boy. Wrong one. has helped a lot. So what we've got is a new idea that's a sort of rearrangement or imagining of the idea we had at the beginning. And then that cello line, half accidentally, half on purpose, went back to the theme, which was originally in the violins. 
and it doesn't matter that everything else stopped because now we can build other things. So this frequently happens. You're playing and you keep going even though blah, 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 all the rest of it's dropped out. And then you add the extra bits in and then it sounds all right. Did that make any sense to anybody except me? Boof! This is metronome. Come on, metronome, you can focus up. There you go, metronome. He's my god of timing. He, I need you today. Today, more than ever, metronome, I need you. <sighs> right. Um, what I was going to do, I was going to try a little uh, sort of cannony effect here with the men going down an octave. They've gone down the pub! The men have gone down the pub! What's going on? Oi! Oh, I see. You're rooted to the wrong thing. What are you supposed to be... Oh no, this is, all... this is so complicated! I'm not ready for complicated! Oh, they... Uh, vent in power. Okay, that's, that's probably... There we go. Blokes! Come on then! Well, I'm sorry, we're just gonna go and have a quick half. No, you're... Right, now this is where it goes to back to the same chord progression, A flat, F minor, except I've left off the um, C sharp, D flat, delete is applicable, because I have no idea which key we're in. Um, Okay, so I've got an A flat, a C, and an E flat really to choose from. Which one sounds best coming in on the great downbeat? Is it the straight A flat? No, it isn't. It's the E flat. I'm so busy looking at this picture, trying to cut the O. Oh, Octave that up. Copy it. Oh no. Little, that's better. Now it's all one. Now we'll copy it down to legato two. Hit my button which transposes it down an octave and. So let's take out the violas for a moment and add some. Uh, so if we got right, so I, I'm, what am I missing here? I'm missing a B flat rise into a C because if I've got if I've got a A flat in there and an E, I've got E flat on the top. I've got A flat on the cello in the bottom. If I want a little sus two, I, I put in a B flat rising to a C. Let's see if that sounds any good. That's what I need to do. So that's suspended second of A flat rising to the third, which is the C. Then for the F minor chord, I'm going to do a, uh, a the same thing again, G rising to the A flat. Let's try it. So what I'm going to do now is just take out 
those um, violas there. And if we're going to make this a big moment, we're going to bring in some... Um, I could get that wrong several times, forgetting what I played originally, so I'm now going to just cut and paste. But uh, that is too loud and a bit, there we go. So I need to bring the whole thing, mod wheel down a bit. Here we go. Oboe can do what the viola is doing, but an octave up. and we decided that was really good. This is another thing which sometimes happens. You have a really good idea and because you're just so relentlessly pressing forward, you forget. What can I introduce? Okay, look, quickly guy, you've got about five minutes to finish this off. Maybe. the rhythm just settled in um, in the second half so often happens so you record it then you just use the last bit when you've actually kind of decided what's going on yeah. <laughs> if I could somehow get this back to where it was to start with uh, but is that going to happen uh, well let me just try cutting and pasting that and that at the end because then that would be a kind of would it have a satisfying feeling of symmetry about it no it would not <laughs> Two twenty-four. Okay, so call me a liar. It's not exactly three minutes, is it? But okay, that's it. We're done. Let's now have a performance from the top of this uh, quasi minimalist. Uh, it's not really, is it? I have a slightly unsatisfied feeling about this track, to be absolutely honest. But here we go.
depression. That's it. And uh, I've got 22 seconds of disk space left. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember, there's the downloady thing underneath this if you want to get the stems and the, all the rest of the nonsense. And um, be, leave some comments and tell me what you want me to do next time. See you again very soon. <laughs>